Hey everybody, so today I'm super super excited to be filming. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty much full face first full face first impression. There are a couple things that I don't have, like I don't have a new foundation, but I'm just going to try a foundation that I haven't used in a hot second and hope that that will suffice, but I feel like I haven't like really done a fun makeup look in a while and I just really haven't played with makeup and just like done a look in what feels like forever. I feel like it's been like two weeks and that's a really long time. So so I ordered some stuff from ColourPop. I got a couple of their new highlighters, their new bronzers, and their new concealers. Super exciting. And then I got this super generous package from Japanesque, which was really random. Open, open. Um, so we have brushes in here. We have a highlighter. We have an eyeliner. We have a brow pencil. I mean, we're gonna really go in and try some new stuff so yeah I got a new face powder and then and then <laughs> I know I know I literally just talked about this in my anti haul but I had a 20% off coupon and David actually bought it for me so and I even said in in that video I was like if I got it as a gift I would like it and I would use it but I just didn't want to buy it myself because I'm really stingy and don't like buying a lot of makeup I mean I do like buying a lot of makeup but I'm very 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 picky so we're going to break into this guy I did use like one color today when I got ready but it was literally the quickest look ever so we're gonna really just kind of go in with this so I know I've done a ton of warm toned looks on my channel recently I will mix it up very soon but that's kind of what we got kind of what we got going here so yeah let's just let's just start putting on some freaking makeup shall we buds I'm gonna break into these brushes first thing these look like NARS brushes like you know those NARS brushes ooh I feel like that'd be a good bronzer like powder brush and they sent this is all called the Kumadori collection from Japanesque and then a loose setting powder ooh I really like that finish or that packaging then there's the buffing brush um there's a dual ended brow pencil which I probably won't use because I don't like brow pencils and this is probably not the right color they probably sent me like brown oh actually this is really dark Oh, I actually, I, I probably will try this, actually. Oh, so there's like a circular side, and one's a little lighter, so there's like a circle side, and then there's one side that's triangle, kind of like the brow definer. Okay, I think I'm actually going to try that. Oh, I also have a new mascara to try. This is going to be the longest video ever. I'm so excited, though. Can you tell? I'm like bouncing off the walls. I haven't just like played with makeup in so long. I got promoted at my work, so I'm full-time now, which is super exciting. I'm really, really happy, but it just, adjusting to a full-time schedule, my hair is so greasy, by the way, ignore that. Um, adjusting to a full-time schedule has just taken some time. This is a like, contour and highlight brush. I'm assuming these all better be synthetic bristles, or I'm gonna be pissed. Well, the brushes aren't synthetic fibers, they're natural fibers. Uh, so I'm just gonna set those aside put those aside we will use other products not the brushes okay and then let's see I have two liquid lipsticks a nude and a red which I was super excited about and then this eyeliner that I'm kind of salty about because it looks identical to the stylus and like granted I don't know if like steely style has like a patent on this but like this is $22 the stylus is eight so <laughs> I might try it and if it performs the same as the stylus then then we know you know to just get the stylus but y'all know I love that eyeliner so okay okay and then yeah we'll get to the rest I feel like I'm just kind of all over the place because I'm just so happy to be filming anyways I'm gonna use my Becca ever matte shine proof foundation today because I haven't in forever I feel like I liked this foundation when like you first apply it but I feel like it gets cakey on my skin during the day but I really want to go for some full coverage today. It smells like sunscreen and I'm in the shade cashmere. Okay and then super super exciting I picked up two of the new ColourPop concealers. I got the shade Fair 5 which is this shade which I think is going to be what I'm going to use but I also picked up 
light neutral night light neutral 15 and I wanted this I was hoping this would be like more of like a spot concealer shade ooh that looks like a really good spot conceal shade oh I love the applicator holy crap it's so soft okay I'm gonna lay, let that sit See if it darkens up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the shade Fair 5 underneath my eyes when I swatch this. Ooh, ooh. This looks like the exact same color as my Tarte Shape Tape. Ooh. I love this applicator. So I'm just gonna blend that in. This neutral shade is super neutral, almost too neutral, because that concealer or that foundation has a very strong yellow undertone, so you can kind of see it, but that's okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, snap. This blends so easily. Holy crap. Like, blends like butter. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's two different colors here. They do oxidize a little bit, but like hardly anything. Like I definitely have had concealers oxidize worse than this, including like the Smashbox one. So I know that was something that like people were saying that they do really badly, but I did not, at least with that shade, I don't really find it to be an issue. I really, really like it. That applicator is bomb. Super full coverage. I like it a lot. Wow. I think I'm going to set, no, I'm going to set my face with a yellow powder, I think. I'm just going to use my NYX banana powder. Not a new product, but sue me. And then I'm going to set my whole face with the Japanese powder. Just because I usually don't like, oh. Oh, this concealer isn't that tacky, which is nice too. Um, I usually don't like setting my under eyes with a translucent powder, so that's why I'm not setting my under eyes with that translucent powder. I'm obsessed with how this concealer looks. Like, usually my nose looks so bumpy, but my nose, my nose looks so smooth after applying that concealer to my nose. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and apply the powder. That's a nice, get a nice size little powder puff here. I only like taking, I only take about half of the, hey, Benny, get down, no. I only rip about half of this, you know, the little stickers that come on the inside, just so I don't get too much. I like only ripping it about halfway off. And I'm just gonna do one of these. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. pointed powder brush and just kind of dunk it in there. Oh, this smells strange. Super silky though, like a little bit goes a long way. It feels crazy soft. Oh my god, it feels so soft. Wow. Okay, it looks a little bit powdery, but I always set my face anyways, so I don't necessarily mind that. Let's, I want to do a little bit of face because I really want to try these new ColourPop bronzers. I also got a highlighter from Japanesque, but this honestly looks, I just, I think I'm going to want more. Like this looks pretty, the packaging is awesome, but it just looks a little bit, a little bit on the mellow side. So I got the shades for the highlighters. I got the shades Sivu Play, which is this like icy, almost white shade. And then I got the shade Here Kitty Kitty. And I literally cannot believe that ColourPop didn't put the names of the product on the package. Like, tell me if I'm wrong, but the names of the stuff is literally only on the box. And like, ColourPop literally caters to beauty influencers. Like, come on. Come on, ColourPop. How could you not do that? But anyways, this one is called Here Kitty Kitty, and it's like an icy champagne. Ooh, they look so good. Um, so hopefully I won't forget the names of these, but come on, ColourPop. What are you doing? Um, and then I got two bronzers. This one is in the shade um, Private Party. And this one I think is a satin. These look so dark in the pan. They don't swatch nearly as dark as they look in the pan. But look how, that looks like it's going to be way too dark for me. But when you swatch it, it's not nearly as bad. Okay, and then I got a 
matte bronzer in the shade California Dreamin. This looks really warm, but we're just going to kind of do a light hand and see how it works. So I'm going to go in with Private Party and I'm going to use a fan brush at first because I don't really know how, I mean, like I said, these look really dark, so... pigment though and this one has a slight sheen to it which I've actually been looking for I've been looking for not a matte bronzer I'm gonna take this down my nose too I really like that shade a lot it's not nearly as dark as I thought it would be um I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of this just for the sake of for the sake of the video and for the sake of trying some things. Why not? So this is the matte bronzer in I already forgot. I already forgot. There's Private Party and California Dreamin', but I can't remember which one was matte and which one was shimmer. So Ooh, yeah, that's really warm. Oh god. Oh. So this one is like super warm like almost straight up orange ew I don't like that I don't like that at all so I'm just gonna kind of blend it onto my cheeks as kind of a blush because I don't have a new blush to try so we'll just go super beach bronzy I guess I can't color pop why did you not put the name names of these like what 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 are you thinking okay anyways we're gonna move on to highlighter so I also picked up this fan brush from ColourPop just because I really want to try a fan brush but I haven't heard the best reviews of it so far so that kind of makes me bummed but I figured I'd just try it. So I'm going to take the shade Here Kitty Kitty and... Ew. This literally, it's like a highlighter that looks wet. I'm all about these colors like these kind of champagne colors. Oh, wow. My skin is so textured right now. I'm trying out some new skincare and like my skin is just not happy with how much I've been changing my routine. So my skin is super textured. So just ignore that. But I'm going to take a little bit of Sivu Play because everybody was just kind of losing their shit over this one. And just kind of pop that on top. Ooh. This is just like straight up icy ass white. I don't mind this brush at all though. I really don't think it's bad. I'm gonna take a little bit of whatever's left on my brush just above my brow. Just to give me a full on glowy glam look. Yeah, no. I just wish the bronzers, like I got the two lightest bronzers and like the matte bronzer for the lightest shade is so goddamn orange. Like if you are paler than me, I... Mm -hmm. Unless you like really orange bronzers, which I know a lot of pale girls and guys do not like really orange bronzers, so maybe, I mean, granted, it's ColourPop, so you know they're going to come out with a million more shades of it, but for the first run, okay, let's actually, let's, let's fill in the eyebrows real quick, because I'm really curious about this. This is the Kumadari Dual Ended Brow Pencil, so... It just has, like like I said, Anastasia Brow Definer vibes. I just wish, like, I would rather have a spoolie on the end than two different brow products, you know what I mean? I'm just going to kind of spoolie through my brows. I haven't used a pencil on my brows in a hot minute, so this might, this might take a second. We'll figure it out. Like, I know a lot of people with black hair will fill in their eyebrows dark brown, but I just, I don't know. I don't like how mismatched that makes me. I might have to clean up these brows with concealer.
Okay, so it's really waxy, which is nice, but for me, it's making it hard to get a really precise line because it's kind of bunching up a little bit, which is the reason why I don't like a lot of brow pencils because like the waxy product is nice like I feel like when you have a lot of brows to work with but when you're really just like drawing on brows on your skin I feel like the waxiness just kind of takes away from how precise you can be you know but for me not being a fan of brow pencils I actually really like this and I feel like I will use it on more like natural like no makeup makeup days but like I still got like a pretty freaking fleek brow going. I'm content. Actually the color really isn't that bad. My roots are starting to grow in so it's not nearly as mismatched as I thought it was gonna be. I'm really stoked actually. Okay I'm gonna go fill in the other eyebrow off camera real quick. Brows are done I'm I and I'm actually like really really happy with them. You're definitely gonna need a spoolie to like fade the in the like inner part of your brows. Hi Benny! Um and I wish it came with a spoolie because I really only used the triangle side. Um I don't really get the point of the two different sides, you know what I mean? Um but yeah I really really like how my brows turned out. Let's move on to eyes. This is my first ever Anastasia eyeshadow palette and we're gonna like I'm, I'm finna do something fun. So let's take this little brush out of here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take raw sienna. And I'm just going to take that on my Sigma E40. And I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. So just lay this down through the crease. Nikki Tutorials in her like My Little Pony makeup like tryout video did this amazing cut crease and ever since I saw her do it I've just inspired to do or not a cut crease um a halo eye so I really want to do a halo eye because I love them okay and then I'm gonna take real gar real gar I don't know but this this beautiful burnt orange and I'm gonna take this through the crease as well Oh. oh god, this is beautiful, holy nutsack, and I'm going to really blend this up towards my brow, like I really want the color to be blown out all the way. I'm going to take a love letter, which is just like screaming my name. Mm, so good. Um, this is a Sigma E25, and I'm just going to pack this. Holy balls. I'm going to pack this on the outer corner and then blend it through the crease. This is insane. Wow, you guys weren't kidding. Like, the reason why I was, like, thinking about buying this and then David bought it for me is because all of you guys were like, you're wrong. You need... The modern renaissance and I was just like okay I guess I guess I'm wrong and boy were you guys right this is this is amazing this love letter color is everything to me right now I be buried in this color of eyeshadow like cremate me and pack me into this color of eyeshadow please I'm gonna go back with a little bit of regolar <laughs> regolar that burnt orange <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend that upper crease a little bit more just so we keep that orange there I'm gonna take a little bit more of love letter okay then I'm going to take a little bit of red ochre which is this shade right here and I'm going to deepen up my outer corners with it like outer and inner corner and this is a Sigma E55. I hope the shimmers are as good because these mattes are like, they're bringing it. Oh, and I'm just going to slightly blend a little bit. Then I want to kind of cut the lid a little bit, like do a slight, not cut crease because it it's not my crease, but I'm just going to, you need to cut it. Um, I'm going to take the ColourPop concealer, just like a tiny little bit of it, and I'm going to take this on this little flat brush, and I'm just going to pop that 
right in the center. So I'm kind of cutting the crease at the very top of my eye and then just patting it down. I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take Primavera right here, which is the, there's like a kind of a pinky shimmer and then there's like a goldy shimmer and this is the more gold shimmer. And I'm just going to pop that right in the center. And then I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush. I'm going to take no additional product because there's still product left on the brush. And I'm just going to go back and forth on the edges of where that shimmer and the matte meet and just kind of wiggle my brush and blend them together a little bit. Like, do you see the difference of how soft these edges are compared to how hard this edge is? Okay, I'm going to take the shade Venetian Red on my Sigma E55 again. And I'm going to pop this on the out, or the bottom, the lower lash line, all the way from inner to outer corner. Okay, then I'm going to take more regular, <laughs> the orange, and I'm going to dust that underneath to really give it that blown out, smoky, sultry look that we love. I would like the shimmers to be a little bit more foiled, but they're still, like, really, really gorgeous. And then I'm going to take Vermeer. This is, like, I swear to God, an identical dupe of Shimma Shimma. And I'm going to pop that on my brow bone. I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and blend up to that brow bone shade. And there's, like, zero fallout on my face right now. I'm a happy frickin' camper. Okay, well, let's pop into this eyeliner and see what this eyeliner is about. This is the Japanese Kumidori Felt Tip Liner. So I would say this one is almost a little bit longer than the Steely Style one. Like, this one, the, like, super fine point is longer. Oh god. Okay, I like that liner. But like I said, like literally, can you tell which one's a stylus and which one isn't? <laughs> but then again, like I said, I don't know if like they have patents or like if that's like a thing they can just do, just like copy other brands. I don't know. I just I just play with the makeup. I don't make it. Okay, and then Japanesque sent me two of their liquid lipsticks so they sent me the color red i feel like these might be their only ones um it says combines comfortable long wear with an ultra lightweight matte finish so oh this red is stunning oh my god that is the most perfect red ever like that is like fire engine pin up perfect red oh my god and then they sent me nude which y'all know <laughs> this is the one i'm gonna use uh this looks stunning Ooh, they smell really nice too that's nude so i'm gonna put on nude because <laughs> y'all know me <laughs> oh it's kind of warm it's really pretty though These have like a sweet kind of cakey, kind of like cake batter smell to them. This is gorgeous though. This actually reminds me of celebrity skin. I wish I still had my celebrity skin to like compare it, but it's super opaque. It's drying down pretty quickly, so I'm going to go find some lashes to put on. I don't have any new lashes just because I just don't. So I think I'm going to kick it old school and do my Kiss Foam Mink in the Style Gala because that's super fun. Um, so I'm going to go put these on and we will be right back. All right, everybody, lashes are on, and I did have one more item. It is the Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. I saw this in Ulta, and then I saw Tati say that she loves it more than the Lash Paradise, and, then, and as we all know, the Lash Paradise, everybody has been talking about it, but it's not cruelty-free, so this one's a cruelty-free alternative if you guys are wanting to try a new mascara. I tried this today for work with no mascara primer, which you guys know that I wear my mascara 
mascara primer literally every single day underneath any mascara and I really really like it I'm just wearing it on my lower lashes I mean I'm wearing it on my top lashes too but since I'm wearing false lashes you can't really tell so I just wanted to pop that in there as I did a first impressions today earlier when I got ready for work but yeah it um the brush is really small really precise um it says it's like with like lengthening fibers I don't know I really really like it the only thing is is if you if you um, kind of coat this up, if you layer this up, it can get a little spider leg lash-y, but I don't necessarily mind that, but just to throw that out there. And then I just want to update on the lipstick. Totally dry, extremely comfortable, really does remind me of the Jeffree Star formula. I feel like this is going to be my new go-to nude. I was able to just wipe it off of my hand. It streaked a little bit, but um, I feel like this has that perfect balance of still matte but still comfortable and I was my uh, camera died after I put on my lashes so I was eating some chips and salsa and as you can see it wore off right on the center here but I'm gonna see how it layers up so overall I'm really, really liking this liquid lipstick formula. I had so much fun filming this. I, like I said, I got promoted at work, so I feel like I just haven't been able to balance that, like, full-time work schedule and editing and filming life. So it's been, it's been hard, and I feel like I haven't done just, like, a sit-down, just play with makeup video in a really really long time probably not since I uploaded my last kids inspired or kids movie inspired makeup look which I promise another one of those is coming I want to try to get film one this week so just keep it out for that thank you guys so much for like sticking by me I know this look is I guarantee I've done this look um, like at least two other times on my channel but I hope you guys enjoyed the first impressions anyways like I said I just love sitting down and just kind of playing with makeup and I mean honestly the the modern renaissance palette called for this look you know what i mean let's do a quick wrap up of some of the stuff that i tried and really really liked really so far love the color pop concealers like they blend out so nicely i think the color range is fine i was really expecting it to oxidize a lot more than it did i really like the share the shade five fair i feel like that one's gonna be more my color um i really like this japanesque setting powder how much is this this is 32 dollars, so high end but nothing like insanely expensive uh the packaging is really nice and sturdy it is a very very fine powder super fine powder feels really really smooth i did take a couple flash pictures and there wasn't like i couldn't tell there was any flashback there but there might have been like the teensy tiniest bit um i did really like the eyeliner but like i said this is 22 dollars and it's literally the exact same thing as a stylus. So if you feel like spending $22 on it, it's good. But I, I mean, you could spend half as much. You know what I mean? ColourPop bronzer, matte one, ugh, shimmer or satin one. Because it's really not shimmery, but it does have a nice, pretty satin finish. I really like that one. I believe that one is called Private Party and California Dreaming is the matte one. Really like the highlights. I think they're really nice and super pigmented, but I mean, I wasn't expecting anything less. And then love the liquid lipstick and of course, I I'm obsessed. You guys were right. You were 100% right. I should have bought this when it first came out. Um I could I literally probably have dupes for every single one of these shadows in my collection, but these shadows are just freaking Bomb. so um that's that's pretty much it no real like fails today which I think is really awesome besides the brushes it makes me really sad that they sent me brushes that are made of animal hair but oh well one of my friends will find use for them so oh well but anyways that uh, that's pretty much it that wraps up this full face first impression so um I don't get to do these often because it's not often that I get a full face of new makeup but if you guys like this style of video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more from my channel make sure to subscribe before you leave I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you in my next video bye